Okay, we've got an Ashcroft Model 1305 deadweight tester. We're going to apply 150 PSI to this gauge and make sure it reads accurately. So we've got the proper amount of weight stacked up on the piston. We're slowly pumping the handle, watching the gauge as we approach the expected pressure of liftoff. And when we get close, we're going to use the displacer down there to slowly crank in some more pressure until we see the weights actually lift up and rise above the resting point. good to spin the weight so that we break any static friction free. There we go. The weights are now risen up. We can see right here it's actually suspended only by the oil pressure. We can actually go up and we can actually go down. That means the weights actually are in mid-travel, meaning the only thing holding them in that position is the pressure of the oil. At this point, so long as we keep it spinning gently, there's no static friction, we can trust that this deadweight tester is putting out 150 psi. Now we can go up to our gauge and see how closely it reads. This gauge happens to be very accurate. It's within one PSI. But uh, we've established the deadweight tester's condition first. We make sure absolutely that we are floating on the oil, that we are not resting either on the bottom or topped out on the piston, and that way we know we can trust the pressure coming out of here. Let's go ahead and bleed the pressure off of this safely so we can take the weights off. So he's opening the bleed valve. Our pressure is going down to zero. And as soon as we're down to zero here, we can take all the weights off of the piston. This particular deadweight tester is a dual range tester. You'll notice when you take a look at the piston, it says H25 PSI. That's what they call the high range piston. We do have an alternative piston here. It fits in the same tester. We could take that piston out and put this one in its place. This one says L5 PSI screws in the same hole and we stack the same weights on top. If we take a look at the weights themselves, we notice here it says L5 H25. So this weight right here is worth 25 PSI when placed onto the high range piston. That same weight is only worth 5 PSI when it's placed on the low range piston. The only difference here is the size of the piston. You can't tell that from the outside. But on the inside of the mechanism, this is a much larger piston than that one is. It has five times the surface area, which means a given weight will give you five times less pressure than it will on the smaller piston. So a dual range dead west, dead, dead weight tester, weights that work with either piston, and that's the setup and testing procedure for a gauge.